Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back. Another Paul Master video. So we got our weekly Champion State of Master Mojo Challenge, Hard Level 1, Master Mode, Lance, again, Champion City yeah. Reset. And um this week we got uh let's see, Fairy Week, Fire, Fair, Fairy Week, week. <laughs> Fairy Week, Fire Week, Bug Week, Ghost Week, and Water Week. And uh the parameters we got the um the sync move buff thing, which is nice. Um, the physical attack buff thing, which is cool, I guess. The stat lowering effect thing, which is something. And then we got um, the, the the move gauge regen thing, which is fantastic, right? So yeah, great, great, uh, great week of parameters. Honestly, like all these parameters are, are are really nice ones, I'd say. So yeah, um, I guess we'll we'll start with Bruno here. We'll start with Bruno here, and. Let's see. So I am going to run I'm going to run uh Julie Lyra with uh Serena. So we're going to keep them asleep. So that means we could give them all the offensive parameters in the world and we would be fine. We would be fine. Uh we could even give ally HP down maybe, right? If I could time it correctly cuz I I I don't I don't know the timing on this stage, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, ally healing down. No stat reduction. Ah, I want stat reduction, actually. It's not the biggest deal in the world, though, I don't think. Let's see, we need status condition, obviously. Alright, so there's something that we don't... We could... Okay, we could do that, I guess. Um... Alright, I think, uh... I think that's all we need to pick up here, right? And this is the team, so... Again, Kiawe Marowak makes an appearance here because of the attack and special attack buff, which can help Jiggly Lara because you're play rough, physical, right? Um, and you only get plus one each here. And then your sync move is uh, special, right? Special sync move with um, Good Nightmare 5, which powers up your regular moves, your play rough when the opponent's asleep. And then you also have. Rude Awakening 5, which powers up your sync move when the opponent is asleep, so... Yeah, um... Kiawe over here helps a lot, I'd say, right? So I have their usual... I guess I could... Maybe swap out Masculine for something else, but... I don't know. Um, and then Serena, all we need is... Honestly, just... Uh, MP Refresh on... Not MP Refresh, Move Gauge Refresh on Hypnosis, which, uh, obviously, we have. So, let's, uh, get into this. Let's put the opponent to sleep. And, um, I don't know, when? Hopefully? <laughs> anyway, it's gonna be hard to lose this one. It can still happen. It can still happen. <laughs> Alright. Start Dancing Fever. Put him asleep. Uh, we do need accuracy buffs and I don't have Troublemaker, right? So I do need one accuracy buff, so hopefully I don't wake up during my accuracy buff. Alright, got the MP refresh. Honestly, one is all I really need. Alright, it's good enough for me, personally. So I'll take that, I'll take that for sure. Looks like they have really no signs of waking up right now. So, let me... Let them use the X defense all. And then we go... Oh, got another MP refresh. Then we could try and Hypnosis again over there. Um, we have our sync move up. I'm probably gonna do Dancing Fever one more time over here because we can, right? Before we get our, uh, get our sync nuke in. Uh, yeah, I was slightly worried about the, uh, the Hitmonchan waking up, so went ahead and queued that up again. Um, we'll get Rock Smashed. I guess we could Potion here for a turn. Um, is anyone waking up? No, not really. All right, let's get the sync nuke in and uh, see how much that does. We don't have enough gauges for play rough though, so maybe I shouldn't have queued up the hypnosis there. Oh well, whatever. Cute factor, uh, disarming voice. Uh, we should be at what plus five, right? As long as we crit, this should do a decent amount of damage. I, th I think, right? All right, not bad, not bad. Again, it's only a fifty percent, um, only fifty percent multiplier, so it's not like anything crazy, but it's good enough, I'd say. Oh. We're out of gauges. That's not good. That is kind of bad. That is bad. That is very, very bad. Yeah. One issue would be running out of gauges, so we can't hypnosis. Which, uh, we're kind of caught with over here right now. Although, we should be able to, um, finish them off with ease over here. 
But I would like to get Sir Gages back, or at least the mid, to uh, deal with the sides. Alright, there we go. Got the hypnosis in. Um, potion, that should be enough to keep it alive for a round. Hypnosis should put them back to sleep. Ouch, wow. I mean, it is, yeah, weak, so whatever. Um, Alright, got that in right for the rock slide, which is nice. Don't want to get rock slided there, right? That'll be kind of bad, I'd say. <laughs> anyway, second sink here. Uh, let's take out the Conkelder first since Earthquake is, again, ground type, which is not really great for us. So... Goodbye? The one issue I do see with this team is, uh, it is really slow, right? All three of these units are pretty slow units. And uh, again, we do have that, um, move gauge acceleration at the beginning. But, like... Um... But when it's gone, Kiawe, we just don't like have enough gate because Kiawe is mostly buffing before, right? So we don't really have much time to actually like gain any speed boss for our team before it goes away. So that is like the slight issue I see with that, which is what happened during the battle, right? So I made it okay, mostly. Um, the middle opponent didn't get a chance to land a hit, which. I would call a win. Anyways, uh, physical attack against opponents low defense. Let's go against Karen here. Let's uh, switch out some of these parameters. Um, I'll give them HP. How about this? I'm thinking of giving them HP, and I'll I'll show you guys why once we see the opponent or or, or the the team I'm running here. Um, we can have yeah, we can have ally uh, HP down. I don't mind that. Um, we could give them what else? Give them, I don't want to give them gradually healing though. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll give ally healing down. Um, no stat reduction. What else? Max HP up. No status condition. Uh, 50% more. Give them some attack, I guess. So. Uh, remember the video we did yesterday? I thought, you know, why why not? Let's let's try the vampire team <laughs> against these guys as well. Although the opponent, you know, they're oh, there's there's a water type. There's no fire type moves, but yeah, I guess there's a water type. But yeah, we're just gonna stall them out with this comp, right? Leech life, mass healer, all that stuff, ridicule, this is that, arachnid, catalytic cure, top cookie, emitting, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? And then Xerneas with the uh, being Xerneas. So let's do this. <laughs> let's do this again, I guess. Since I think two, like, two of these are like bug types, so they're gonna get the extra super effective damage on there as well, which is cool. Which is cool. All right. I didn't level up theme skills, but <laughs> right, let's get the um, uh, move gauge acceleration in here before we get. Um, Speed up, right? Speed plus six. Alright, start water gunning, I guess, since we don't have gauges. Horn leech, get all those back first. Alright, we have gauges now. We could leech life here. Ah, come on! We were gonna get... We we're gonna get our sync up, too. Oh, well. That kinda sucks. Well, it doesn't kinda suck. It sucks a lot, actually. <laughs> it sucks a lot. Alright. We should be fine though. It's not it's not like the end of the world. But it sucks. Still. Okay. Ooh, Dark Pulse gonna hurt, but thankfully we just got the uh, plus three special defense in there right before they gonna dark pulse us. Um we're doing okay-ish damage, not anything crazy though. Again, our goal is to stay alive longer than the opponent stays alive, which as long as we can accomplish that, we should be fine. We should be fine. Um, I think one slight issue could be like trap damage. I don't think any of these guys have trap damage, so yeah. And they're not super effective against any of our guys either, so I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Uh, let's stick with Lily B actually, so we get the um, you know, the bug type super effective, and we don't really need anything from um. Oh, stored power is gonna hit hard. Stored power is gonna hit hard, but again, we do have plus six special defense. And really tanky to begin with. Oh. Well, okay. We dodge it. <laughs> there we go. Alright. 
Gradual heals in here again. Do I need to use a move gauge? I mean, well, I don't need to heal anyway, so I guess I could use a move gauge boost there. Um, top of the cages a bit. Horn Leech. It's taken a while. Um, thankfully, we have three times speed on, or else it would have taken much longer. <laughs> okay. We only 300 HP on these, which are nice, which are nice. Um, should we sync with Lilybe again? Yeah, there's no point syncing with um, Xerneas right now, I guess. Is that going to one-shot the Sharpedo? Damn, if we one-shot the Sharpedo, we didn't even get to use our uh, group water guard then. <laughs> That'll be sad. Alright, we didn't one-shot. I mean, we did give them like a bunch of HP and Mariners, and none of these guys are Strikers, so I guess it makes sense. Alright, let's see how much HP we uh, take from a Surf with water guard. Group water guard, in fact. Alright, both of them dodged it. <laughs> I'll take that as an answer. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, since we have a uh, water guard, I, I think we should just take out uh, Reuniclus first. I was called to Caitlyn. 155, surf again. Please don't dodge. I want to see how much damage it does. Alright, come on. Don't dodge. Don't dodge. Alright, around 100, which is a decent amount, but like we healed 300 back, so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can't die on this team! <laughs> it's or or very, very hard to die on uh, this team. Especially, you know, if I actually had, like, Vigilance on Lulubi as well. Like, then they, like, the only threats would be, like, super effective. Very, very strong super effective moves, right? Not even just, like, regular super effective. It has to be really, really strong super effective moves. Probably... Are they... Are any of these guys weak to, um... Fire or water that gets boosted by, um... This is rock, right? Yeah, it's rock. Yeah, <laughs> because I was thinking like maybe a really strong, super effective move that gets boosted by like rain or sun, maybe. But no, no, <laughs> they're not weak to any of that. Anyways, style learning effects on your opponents. Let's just fight Koga with this one. Uh, we'll give them status conditions for this one because I want that. Um, let's go back to. Uh, offensive parameters for this one here. Uh, ally healing down is fine. No stat reduction is fine, even though ironically we're using it against the uh, <laughs> stat, you know, reductions get powered up stage. Um, all right, so uh, we're gonna run Groudon. Groudon Leon again. Wait, again? Have I run this before? I might have run this before, but who cares? I'm gonna run it again. No one can stop me. Uh, let me switch the uh, grid though. Let's see. Solar filler. Yep, yep, yep. This one, this one. And Leon grid is fine. Okay, let's go do this, I guess. Um, pretty straightforward, I'd say. You just uh, do a lot of damage. Oh, I probably should have used the fourth, fourth one though. The um, the uh, which one was called again? The um. The, the, the move gauge acceleration stage, because I mean, I guess these guys do have like a lot, you know, a lot of move gauges out there. I mean, it's, it's two four gauge moves with like Torchic, who isn't particularly fast, even though Torchic does have like flame charge, right? But I mean, it's not like super fast or whatever. So, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, Inferno there. Um, still need to get the second Blazing Hope in. Got the super effective next, so that's nice, I guess. Alright, I didn't need to use that. Ah, yeah, I totally- I did not need to use that X-Attack all there. I could have saved one- an extra X-Attack all. Oh, well. Uh... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we don't have to worry. <laughs> I guess we don't have to worry. <laughs> it's like a third of its HP in one shot. Wow. Wow. I was less than burn 5, still took like 1.6k, which is actually a decent amount of damage from burn, honestly. Anyways. Okay, we're getting the Precipice Blades ASMR here. Uh, should I just Solar Beam? Because I don't, I don't have gauges. <laughs> yeah, I definitely should have went for the 4 gauge thing. Oh, you know what would be fun? 
if we went with the uh, move gauge acceleration and we ran Groudon, uh, or Maxi, Singzu Red, and Leon, tanking with like maybe Groudon, I guess, and see how that goes. Oh, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Goodbye, Scyther. Um, to my credit, I did leave Scyther for the last one, though. So. Anyways, Ground didn't do anything except for Sync. <laughs> oh well. I mean, what can you do? It's Leon. And it's a Fire Week stage. They will go down very, very, very quickly. <laughs> Alright, anyways. um, Yeah, last one. Last stage. Move gauge acceleration. So, what I thought I'd do for this one, right? Um, a lot of folks... Always say, well, I don't, I don't really need to summon on Kyogre, or because I already have Mei, and Mei is already, you know, way too OP for any rain team, water team, whatever. Which is true, right? I mean, Mei is obviously incredibly, incredibly good. You don't have to have Kyogre. However, um, here's the here's here's the here's the counter argument. Why have one OP rain team that can wash away, you know, absolutely every single stage in the game when you can have two OP rain teams that could wash away every single stage in the game? So. Um, over here, I thought, you know, we'd, we'd use another, we'd use a rain team against the Ghost Week, because, I mean, it's Ghost Week, right? <laughs> and, um, against the Water Week, we'll run another rain team. So, we'll run two different rain teams, both very, very, very good, and, I hope, uh, would be capable enough to, uh, take out any of these, uh, stages in our way, right? So this one we're gonna run Palkia with um with Kyogre over here, right? With all the uh the rain stuff, rain with Blastoise as well. And then we'll run another different team comp with May uh in the next stage. And uh yeah, free wins, basically. Unless we get hit by like a really strong AoE move on turn three because we cut our HP down with Cyrus. Which is very unlikely, I'd say. <laughs> so, <laughs> all, right, all we need is one MP refresh from two of the top, and uh, we're we're good to go. Basically, we're good to go. All right, X special attack in there. We get the MP refresh here. Wait, did I even pick up? I forgot if I picked up MP refresh or not. I pretty sure I did. Anyways, um, regardless. I really hope I did, because or else we won't have Max Friend on Palkia, which would be kind of awkward. Uh, MP Refresh! Okay. Well, it's still 80%, I guess. <laughs> We're gonna gamble with 80% then. Here we go, folks. 80%. 80% it is. Alright, I'm just queuing up an extra one for no reason. Um... Next defense all there. Hydro pump here. Uh, our plus three special attack with um, Singso Blue, which is nice, I guess. You know what? I should have hydro pumped the left side. Then we would have taken it out with the Kyogre Sync move. So we got an extra turn. But oh well. Anyways, Archie EX. Big Origin Pulse. Is that enough? Uh, I was wondering if it was enough to take out the sides. Uh, the answer is no, it's not enough. <laughs> Clearly. Alright, water pulse here. Hydro pump. Boom, and that should be... Uh, the end for the mid. And possibly the sides. Almost the sides as well. Yeah! Why, why have one OP rain team when you got two? and destroy any stage um, at ease, at ease, with no worries. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Poor thing. Alright, that is true, that is true, Cyrus, that is kind of true, that is kind of true. I have to agree. Anyways, um, here we go, Lance. Hmm, what should I do here? I'll do s the, the the sync move power up thing. Um, I want status conditions. I want stat reduction. So I'll give them some HP, and we'll give them some extra defense, I guess. So 
Um, the second rain team we're going to run is a slightly more experimental. <laughs> Might not go the best way. We'll see. Um, but it's with Alakazam, Siebold, and, and Swampert here. So the plan is to discombobulate four to debuff the opponent's accuracy as much as possible with Octazooka. Right, which yeah, obviously Octazooka has a what 50% chance of lowering the um, the opponent's uh, accuracy every time you use on top of another 40% or another 50% here. Um, so debuff their accuracy as much as possible, as well as provide some, I guess, extra DPS, chip damage. Although, again, we're mainly debuffing accuracy, so we could get a big hide and sink nuke over here with um, me and Swampert, right? And Alexam just Alexam to buff everyone's every single stat in the game. Alright, let's do this. Um, I'll just start, I'll just start with Octazook, honestly. I'm thinking of, yeah, just starting again. Uh, Octillery could do damage, you know, in its own right, but I'd rather just try to, ah, oh, really? <laughs> Couldn't land one. Alright, just needed one there. Come on. Give us at least one accuracy buff? Or actually, give us two to make up for the one that we didn't get last time. Alright, I'll take one. <laughs> Ask for one, sell for two. Okay. Very reasonable person. <laughs> Alright, let's max that out, I guess. We got an extra Okazuka and I got- Ah! How do we just get burned from a flame wheel of all things? Come on! Wait, they got two. Never mind. Oh, oh. Didn't get another one here, though. Sad. Um. Anyways. Okay, it's only at two. I was hoping we'd get, like, at least three. Oh well, um, we have another chance over here, obviously, with this uh, last Oct Octazooka before our sink. So, can we get another one? Yes! There we go. Oh! Minus four! Okay, that's not bad! I'll take minus four. I'll take minus four. I will also take a um, one-shot over here. And before it doesn't one-shot, and then I look super bad for saying it, it was going to be a one-shot, and then it doesn't one-shot. I'm pretty sure- Okay, as long as we crit, okay? As long as we crit. There's a 95% chance it's one shot. Ah! <laughs> We're close though. If it was maybe it was for like minus five. Damn, had to really do me like that. Okay, big sad. Um. Well, that's goodbye regardless. Uh, why did I click that scald? <laughs> why did I click that scald? Oh well. I wouldn't do something with Octillery before the stage ends. 2.5k, you know what? That's not bad. I'll take it. Hopefully... I was just about to say hopefully Muddy Water misses, but I don't think that's possible. We have too many accuracy buffs for it to miss. I was hoping to get another Scald in with the um, the burn, but oh well. This me this week's uh, mashed mode... Um, there we go! <laughs> Wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. Again. Well, I have one OP rain team when you could have two. <laughs> Technically, you could have four, but I don't know about OP for the other ones. I mean, like, I guess you could make one... You could make another one, like, around Empoleon and make another one around, like, Grimsley? But yeah, like, or, 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 I Dreadnought. Yeah, you probably want Dreadnought instead of, uh, maybe, like, Empoleon. Um, but you could run, you could run, you could run Dreadnought and you could run Dreadnought and Torpedo together, I guess. It's a bit risky because you have to sink or swim. Um, a bit risky, but you could maybe do that. And like a Blastoise and like with Barry, you could do like, uh, I don't know, Sing to Lisa plus like Pelipper. I don't know, it's definitely not OP, but like, you know. Different teams. So, anyways, uh, that's me with this one, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know guys think in the comments down below. Like, enjoy this video. Subscribe to channel for some more promo of content, and we will be again summoning on the Hollow Banner tonight when that goes live. So, uh, make sure to uh, to check in if you guys got time. Nothing else to do. Um, that reset, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there then.